Hello friends, welcome to Mid-Morning Manna. Lonnie Mattingly here, glad you've tuned in. And I trust that God will bless you, give you something to be an encouragement, to get, to be a help, maybe a little bit of motivation in your life. We all need some help in some, some area, sometime. And uh, if I can be a blessing to you anyway, that's certainly what I want to be. And this week, we've been talking about holding fast the name of Jesus. If we think about holding fast the name of Jesus, that means that what we do, we ought to do it in his name, for his honor, for his glory, for his sake, and to lift him up and let others know that uh, we're not representing just ourselves. Of course, we are representing ourselves in a big way, but that in fact, we're representing the Lord Jesus Christ because we're Christians, those of us who are saved. Now, if you're not saved, that's another whole story and we can deal with that. But the important thing is for those of us who are saved, that we represent the Lord Jesus Christ in a real way. Listen to what he said, uh, as we serve, we ought to be serving in his name. You know, we've talked about gathering in his name. We've talked about praying in his name. And uh, I want you to think about serving in his name. The Bible says, whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Jesus said, when you do something in my name, you're going to be rewarded for it because you are representing me and you are helping others see the goodness in me. And you're helping others to realize how great Jesus is and how much he loves them. And you're serving in his name. You, you're an ambassador for the Lord Jesus Christ, serving in his name. Here's another. Now, this is a little bit more lengthy passage, but I, I want you to listen. I hope you'll get this. Matter of fact, jot down this reference and read it again later. You see, when we do, uh, when, when we do do what we do in his name, we are serving him. Listen to what he said in Matthew chapter 25, verses 34 through 40. I got to read a number of verses here, but he said this, then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee, sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Now, Jesus is pretty clear there. He's saying, when you do something in my name for others, you're doing it for me. And if you, you say, well, I wish I could do something for Jesus. Then he said, in my name, do something for someone else. And when you do, that's what, in heaven, those treasures being laid up and whatever else is going to be taking place there, it's going to be done as if you did it to me. And how important it is that we honor the Lord Jesus Christ, that we hold fast the name of Jesus. And that's what we've been talking about, holding fast the name of Jesus whether it's gathering together as a church family, whether it's our prayer life, or whether we're serving the Lord by serving others, we ought to be doing it in his name. I'm not doing it to get glory and credit for Lonnie Mattingly or for somebody else uh, in the family or whatever. Of course, we all like to receive applause occasionally and all that kind of thing, but our life ought to be lived to bring honor and glory and praise to our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Will you allow him to use you in that wonderful way and magnify him? Let's point the world to Jesus. Let's tell them about him and let's lift him up. Well, let's pray together right now. Heavenly Father, I do thank you for your kindness to us. Thank you for the love you've shown us. I pray your Holy Spirit will guide us and direct us as we try to lift up our Lord and as we try to do what we do in his name for others. And Father, we give you the praise in his name. Amen.
his pen of love in my heart and writes my soul a message he wants me to know his spirit all divine fills this sinful soul of mine when God dips his love in my heart well I said I wouldn't tell it to a living soul how he brought salvation when he made me whole but I found I couldn't hide such love as Jesus did in part it makes me laugh and it makes me cry Sets my sinful soul on fire When God dips his love in my heart He walked every step Of Calvary's rugged way To give his life completely And bring a better How he brought salvation when he made me whole But I found I couldn't hide such love As Jesus did in part Cause it makes me laugh and it makes me cry Sets my sinful soul on fire When God dips his love in my heart Well, I said I wouldn't tell it to the living soul How he brought salvation when he made me whole But I found I couldn't hide such love As Jesus did in Love in my heart, in my heart.